All right, let's light this up. Wait, oh, right, we're inside, no smoking, got it. All right, so we may not be able to light this bad boy up and give it a smoke, but today we are gonna take a look at a really good cigar blend whiskey and see what it's all about. Hello and welcome to Lacorius George. My name is George, and today I'm gonna to be guiding all of you through my curiosities with Old Raleigh Distillery's batch one of their cigar blend, Old Stogie. So if you've never heard of Old Raleigh Distillery before, don't worry about it, I'm sure you're not alone, but they did just win best micro distillery in the world here in 2023. So you might start hearing about them pretty soon. As for myself, I've only really recently heard about them as well within the last year or so, but I've been dying to try some other whiskey ever since I have. I hadn't been able to get my hands on a bottle, you know, even though at the time I was doing some traveling for work and going down that way to North Carolina quite a bit. Um, but it just so happens that I stopped traveling down there as frequently when I heard about the distillery. So, you know, it is what it is. They've just started to ship their whiskey across the US. So thankfully my state is one of the ones that they are able to ship to and I got myself a bottle. Speaking of the bottle, let's take a look at the bottle first before we even get onto the inside. This is probably one of the most beautiful bottle designs I've ever seen. I mean, between the overall shape of it and the fluting, you got this cool little coin on the top of it, as well as the old Raleigh distillery logo and things on the bottom. I just love it. And I think this is probably one of the few bottles that I'm thinking, you know what, I'm gonna keep this afterwards and see what I can use it for after. Let's take a look at the label and see what we're looking at on the inside. So this is Old Raleigh Distillery's batch one of their cigar blend named Old Stogie. It's a straight bourbon whiskey finished in Tawny Port and Armagnac casks. I'm a huge fan of Tawny Port. It's coming to us at 50.67% ABV. Uh, this happens to be bottle number 204. So it doesn't have it on the actual label, but I did some research. So Old Raleigh is sourcing this whiskey. Uh, based on their website, they're saying they're sourcing whiskeys from all over the United States. That's as specific as they get. Um, but in terms of age on this one, it's a mix of 19 and 7 years old and was finished for 14 months. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pour myself a glass of this and let's see what it's like inside. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at the color. I didn't necessarily look up and see whether or not Old Raleigh adds any coloring to it. Um, but either way, the color on here is really nice. It's got that nice reddish amber color to it. And then if we give it a spin and take a look at the legs, those are sticking up there for quite a while. So they're starting to drip down now, but it's looking like some pretty oily, thick, viscous kind of liquid in here, um, which is really nice. I like it, but I'm excited for it. So let's take a look at the nose. That's really delightful nose. So you're getting a lot of the notes that you'd expect to get from like those port barrels. So those deeper kind of dried fruits, and you're getting the raisins, raisins, dates, that kind of thing. But there's a nice creaminess on the nose too. Real nice hints of vanilla, caramel. Nose is really, really enjoyable, especially if you like Armagnacs or ports or anything like that. Let's go ahead and give this thing a taste. So right away, you're getting those raisins, some fig, but it's followed up nicely with some caramel. Real creaminess to it too. It's really nice. I feel like I'm tasting the oak a little bit more on the palate than I did on the nose. And you start taking a few more sips. That oak definitely starts coming a little bit more forward. I'm getting some leatheriness out of it. I'm kind of being reminded a little bit like a Fig Newton, although not quite as sweet as that but something where you get that fig and maybe some like bready shortbread type of something around the outside of it. But it's really nice, but not quite as sweet, like I said. Not really getting too, too much spice out of it. A little bit, but it comes towards the back end. It's not too overly powerful. On the mouthfeel and finish too, like I said, it's pretty oily on the mouthfeel. So it's kind of thick and viscous. And the finish is pretty long. Like it's still sticking around in my mouth now. Like those oaky, like leathery notes are still sticking around. A little bit of that raisin taste, but it's sticking around quite a bit. I can definitely see that if you were smoking a cigar with this, how that finish sticks around for a while and as you're taking a puff or two of that cigar, you're still getting a lot of that flavor on your palate. All right, not that it needs it, but as always, I'm gonna add a couple drops of water and see if it changes it at all. All right, the water on the nose opened it up a little bit, so you're getting a little bit more lighter notes out of it. 
I think instead of those deeper fruits like the raisins and the plums, I'm getting something a little bit more lighter. So I might be getting a little bit of apple out of that. And some of the sweeter notes too. Dare I say maple syrup, something like that. On the palette with the water, it's bringing the leather straight to the front. I wasn't expecting that to happen. As well as a nice rich caramel flavor. I feel like it's coming through really strong now too. It's really, really good, really, really smooth. All right, so some final thoughts here on this bottle of Old Stogie from Old Raleigh Distillery. I think overall, it's a fantastic bottle of whiskey. A lot of really good notes from the bourbon. So the, the vanillas, the caramels. Also, you get a lot of the nice oaky notes you get from some of the age. But I think all of that blends really, really nicely with the influence from the port cast and the Armagnac. So some of those deep fruits like the raisins and the dates. And I think this whiskey has a real nice creaminess to it, which is going to translate fantastically if you're actually smoking this with a cigar. So overall, great whiskey. I'm glad I picked it up. I can't wait to see what else these guys put out. So for those of you lucky enough to grab yourself a bottle of this, let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you guys have had anything else from Old Raleigh other than just the cigar blend, let me know what you think of that as well. Because next time I'm down there, I'm definitely going to make a stop by and see how much I can fit in my suitcase on the way back up. So I only have a little bit left here. So what I think I'm going to do is top myself up. I'm going to grab that cigar and I'm going to head outside and see how these actually pair together. But for the rest of you, everyone stay curious. And until next time, cheers.